What is up my people? Hi Queen X here back at it again with another daily upload for you guys. So before I start off the video, as always, if you're new here, please consider subscribing. If you're an OG subscriber, come on Mimi. Since then, Nikipata one view per video. I thank you. Uh uh to Mef Kambali on yeah to have kambali yeah so today um so today's video is something that you make we can for some time now for some time eh uh because babu you know it, it's a really hard list to come up with i basically shot this video like three times nikki changed the the cars that is in my list if that that is how because i shot it the first time nikona like hey nime overshoot because looking at the analytics hey analytics analytics uh ni basically young guys here and one thing young guys atuna pesa and uh, <laughs> you know i had to revise the list again to putting into sa, sa, nini, putting into account you know financial stuff unaelewa but before i start out the list I'd, I'd like to tell you something my my fellow fellow brothers and sisters uh something real as in if you want a sports car and you want something you can take it to the track. Squeezy so kuna a lot of track events, Club TT, Club TT has some events, uh Delta Motorsports, uh which is you know race wars, whistling Moran, Delta Motorsports and you know uh yeah as I think nothing nothing is cheap if you can you are you're considering like you know tracking your car as in tracking a car a specific model. Hakuna kitu cheap kwa sababu uh you know if you you want something like is straight out of from the factory and you metoka you know already race ready and stuff it's really expensive kwanza yeah it's really expensive if you look at the numbers unaweza kufa moyo misa zingine mimi waangalia some cars zenye zinauza huko juu nasema wahi mungu wangu yeah uh, so racing is not cheap uh because una job considering like unaenda kwa event you have to pay kama uko na gari you have to pay like the event organizers kwa sababu unaingia the unaelewa the track unaelewa lazima u prep gari yako which meaning unaweza fanya some oil changes and stuff oil changes coolant changes tires you know earlier yeah, those those things that you need to prep to prep your car to go to the track and if you are using a high performance car unaje always comes to the issue of you know your performance things cars mechapa ma bad is coffee tea so basically what nasema racing is not cheap it's not cheap uh yeah but so the cars in my list hapa i really like tried 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 kabisa kabisa nijoga we are in the kenyan market and we are kind of limited to what what cars we can like choose nijoga tuko in like america where you just choose like yeah i want this car you know it's and now after the parts and stuff so the first car on my list would be a toyota and to be precise the toyota starlet glanza uh you know the starlet glanza is the you know sport variant of the of the p90 starlet and uh you know it came in different variants uh the the 1.3 liter gi which was naturally aspirated and the oh, okay that that is called the Glanza S the naturally aspirated and the Glanza V is called is the turbocharged variant which is really popular and uh, yeah basically you know it's a front wheel drive front wheel drive platform uh there are some zenye zilikujana four wheel drive so ukiwa mjanja ka uko na not four wheel drive <laughs> yeah four wheel drive actually yeah four wheel drive so ukiwa mjanja uko na ka four wheel drive kako hapo ka, ni ka NA unachukua hiyo turbocharged engine ya Glanza V unayekelea hapo and you have an all wheel drive not a four wheel drive <laughs> starlet yeah uh, it's synonymous around Kenya uh, many people a lot of them were shipped to this country if i might say because they are you know synonymous i've seen a lot of them and people have done some things to it ni wana watu wanafanya like the gearbox change kuna zenye zilikuja na 4 speed so kuna zenye na kuna zenye zilikuja na 5 speed so people wana swap like the gearbox from ka uko na ka 4 speed unachukua 4 speed unaeka 5 speed hapo the engine swap when you from from the ka uko na ka Glanza S unachukua unachukua Glanza V unaeka engine yake hapo and the the kwanza ka kuna platform imekubalika hii platform ya Starlet 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 ilikubalika sana Kenya because so many of them were shipped to here as i said before so many of them and so 
tunapata vitu kama parts ziko ziko available tuning tuning yeah tuning tuning iko even though they are kind of little bit aged tuning iko and uh, yeah so yeah and uh, they they do meet all the requirements ni makeup hapo mbele cheap wearables it's a toyota so you know you reliable and uh, yeah basically all all the good stuff and uh, with this it's a, it's 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 it fits all the things that you you need in a project car and najua uh, people people can people have really been doing some things to this and najua uh, inaweza achieve their pocket rocket status pocket rocket is a small car but it's really fast and uh, yeah so the Starlet Glanza V or the Glanza S basically the Glanza a really good platform a really really good platform So the second car on my list actually cars because of the models mbili uh, would be the Toyota Levin zenye kutoka 1987 all the way down to 1995 there were two models uh, the first model was the A91 series which is a two door variant of the E91 Toyota Corolla like Pepsi this one that I am in right now and the A100 which was you know the two door variant of the Toyota Corolla 110 I think I'll overlay a clip so with this car it's obviously a front wheel drive car it's a Toyota Corolla front wheel drive car but it had two doors so unajua wait till kwa kiasi considering like compared to the you know the counterparts with four doors unajua you have two more doors another bench to go nyuma and stuff yeah and with the platform platform was a, that same Toyota Corolla were using the 4A platform so unajua kwa Toyota Levin they gave it the 4A GE you naturally aspirated and upon the pia the the 4A which is the silver top the silver top yeah and uh, pia kulikuwa na ka some limited variants za 4A GE which were supercharged basically basically superchargers are like turbos but they don't need gas i mean exhaust gases to you know pump the compressor they use like you know power from the engine they are run by a belt yeah, uh, so you know, with this car, uh, it's been around. Considering it's gonna counterparts on the on the you know on the normal side, on the four door side, so no pata parts ziko nyingi because you know the four A platform was used in a lot of cars during that time. The, yeah, at I think I think I think Pia Toyota Starlet it had a four A. Yeah, I think I think it had a four A. Yeah, so. Yeah, a lot of parts. People with a car that has been with uh, with people for a long time. Uh, what you may or may turn inside out or may a lot of things. Engine swaps, uh, engine swaps are really common. Kwanza silver top, silver top because it is in a tough of his buyer sana. I'm also looking for one. Yeah, kau kona moja unataka kuni donate ya ni ongelesha. Please, how much na zonge if you are selling one. So yeah, uh, they they have cheap wearables. Uh, it's a Toyota, so there are a lot. So cheap wearables. Still, Azimo will spend like a lot on on you know performance parts. because you know it's just a car that you can take to the track, the track, and then you can daily drive it to the next day when the job now. Yeah, so the Toyota Levin, a really good platform. Uh, if you're looking for you know something you can start for relatively cheap compared to some other cars that I'll, I'll you know mention in this list. Toyota Levin, yeah. So yeah, that's that's the second car. So the next car on my list would be a Suzuki. Uh, to be specific, the Suzuki Swift Sport. Uh, the model made from 2012, 2014. And yeah, it's basically a 1.3 or oh, 1.6 liter front wheel drive hatchback. Uh, yeah, last time Nikki nearly mentioned me three cylinders, but I am so I am sorry for that because Babu one of you corrected me, which I really appreciate. Asanti, Asanti, you're naming a lot of things. Sahau. So, yeah, it's a four cylinder, uh, you know, producing 130 horsepower, you know, with uh, 160 newton meters of torque to the front wheels. Yeah. <laughs> You know they were produced when they 2012 to 2017 so you know it's still unaza bad unaza import currently and uh you know these cars offer a fun a fun daily 
for a lot of people ni mwana watu wana ideal a lot and you can track it to the car i mean unaweza ipeleka kwa track uh during the weekends or or other days it's a, it's relatively a new platform in the Kenyan scene najua it's not like that new because a lot of them are nimeona nyingi kwanza kwa sunset duty and petroholic pizza meets ziko nyingi and uh, you know you know uh, some some model the 2012 model came with a, an optional manual you know an optional manual i think it's a 5 speed ama 5 i think it's a 6 speed cast ya kosea if nimekosea please ni ni ambia kwa comment section and so the auto came with a performance performance CVT performance CVT yeah the performance CVT transmission uh yeah, uh, as I said before, they meet these requirements in Likwan Makeup on Bele. Uh, you know, cheap wearables, tuning market, uh, and Leon and Guinea Juicy may find you an any may find you like a terrible conversion of which was like mind blowing to me. Uh, yeah, and uh, they're basically fun cars. You know, with hatchbacks, you have that car, car space. I don't know, you have that car space to you know, to like. Kufanya V2, it's not as complicated like as an all wheel drive platform or something. Mnani pata, sijika mnani elewa. So, uh, tuners wananza kuzifanya a lot. Uh, parts pia si that expensive, even though, you know, ziko expensive kiasi, you can get a body kit for your, your base model. You can get some, you know, turbo conversion, an exhaust, bucket seats. They're, they're, really, they're like a really good platform, if you ask me. And based on the research I, I did, I believe they are a really nice platform. Mm. Especially for a driver mwenye anataka to just something cheap. Na kwanza kwanza mwenye mtu wana prefer like to drive to the track and drive the car and drive back home. Definitely a nice platform. A nice platform. Yeah. <laughs> Suzuki Swift Sport. So the fourth car on my list would be a Mitsubishi. Uh, to be precise, the Mitsubishi Rally at Colt. Yeah. So basically back in 2006 Mitsubishi released the version R which is the you know turbocharged version of the Nini of the Colt baseline Colt uh, it had uh, the 4G15 platform the engine uh, with Myvag uh, so, uh, some sort of uh, it's a variable valve timing system you know just like the way Honda has VTEC uh, Mitsubishi has Myvag yeah, so and uh, they slapped a turbo, char a turbo charger on the five door, making around uh, 152 horsepower at 6000 RPM, which is nice, really, really nice for you know a five door. And uh, you know, uh, and uh, they do come in a manual, uh, depending on the year and model that you get. Some, you know, yeah, I believe, yeah, they come in a manual, Castia Cosea, because the one I looked at was like, you know, had a manual tranny in it. And uh, and they come with a performance CVT as always because you know your turbo charger performance CVT lazima ni kwe hapo dani you know I could say a lot about this car a lot a lot but nojo <laughs> stuck in the video kwe that long it's a really good platform considering the money you're paying you know a platform that you can develop your driving skills up or you can you know you can turn it into whatever you want because the platform is a really strong platform and that's why you can zake obviously kila gari kona shida zake but with this it's a really nice platform najwa tuners wame kwa kifanya some tuning with it you know the comp stuff and uh basically i, I believe when there's again some horsepower just doing an exhaust and you know just clearing up the system there is that ka, ka tune you can get and uh yeah they're basically fun little cars uh, i've seen i've seen one that is fully caged i think i'll overlay a clip there uh you can a rookie racing or something i'll just overlay the clip there and uh yeah basically what one is a lot a lot a lot kuna time kwa kwa meet ni kwa counted i counted around five and i was like what and this guy really need to get one <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, the fifth car on my list would be a Volkswagen, uh, the Volkswagen Golf Mark V. Uh, please take note the same as GTI, just the baseline Mark V. Uh, you know the Volkswagen Mark V is uh, you know the fifth generation of the Golf, of the Golf, and uh, you know of the Golf series, yeah. 
and they come in many many variants uh terrible version which is the gti which most of you know but yeah uh, anyway, i know why you mess my mark for you so uh yeah so they came in many configurations uh, turbo you know kuna zenye zilikuwa front wheel drive peke yake kuna zenye ni all wheel drive kuna zenye ni rear wheel drive kuna zenye ni mid engine rear wheel drive basically a lot of configurations uh they you know even though they use the kind of the same platform kiplani kuna zenye obviously naturally aspirated the baseline model but igari nilichagua kwa sababu when you buy the baseline model you have you don't have something in your it's already like imedungwa <laughs> mashindano obviously don't get me wrong the the GTI is you know it's a, it's a it's a good platform if you have the the cash but for a guy mwenye anataka tu ku develop his skills with the car basically unaweza develop the car while you develop your own driving skills on the cheap kinda tools you racing is not cheap yeah you can develop it kwa sababu you need you can change out the rims Uh, I mean the tires the rims basically something you can like eka something with the touches nela and uh with the with the with the three door see with the three door see nini ni toje see that hard and uh you have less to it to deal with it, considering you don't have two extra doors so yeah uh really good car Yeah and uh, yeah the any me, me personally as much as ningetaka the GTI I would probably go for the baseline model kwa sababu the the GTI kono mashita zake unaweza unasikia GPCV if people who own the cars are complain to some extent ogopa kiasi unanielewa <laughs> that is something i usually just try and hear mtu akisema like hey, your gari na nisumbua PCV clog Sijui ni toje tra- transmission kwanza hiyo DCZ just a lot of nini mind boggling so the next car on my list would be a Honda to be precise the Honda Fit basically the Honda Fit is a 5 door 5 door hatchback style type of car produced by Honda and is sold all over the the world uh with the engine platform to naongelea something around 1.3 all the way to 1.5 to the I guess recent models And yeah it's currently in its fifth generation I'm a fourth Casco sure fifth let me check I think it's in the fourth generation you know uh it's a good car 1.4 uh, cylinder for banger and uh they do come some come with some uh manual manual options and other come others come in a you know auto option yeah n- not much to say about this car naturally aspirated so then you can like turbo versions Yeah. So but most of the time you know Kenyans see when I see a Honda Fit and they think like Uber. But once you do some research and uh, see what what other people are doing in other other countries, which one like a really nice nice tracker. Uh, 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 people outside there are really tuning the the Honda Fit platform uh, because of realizers in the platform tunaweza fanya swaps. Kwanza K series swaps. K series K series actually come in <coughs> in like other Hondas like the Honda Accord which unajua ziko Kenya obviously so ukipata like a crashed one you can like steal the engine and the gearbox no wake a K series on a, on your Honda Fit uh it's known for the K series actually known for his its high revving and tuning tuning capabilities so really nice it can fit in a Honda Fit <laughs> Yeah, I chose all the safety options like uh, you know SRS airbags and uh, ABS. And the concern if you're braking hard, you never know when you are going to crash. So airbags are really really a cas- uh, it's not needed but it's a cas- safe space for maybe your daily track car, daily track car. Yeah. Uh yeah. Uh, and Konza a good platform that I would recommend car if you have the the Mula I'd recommend Uki if you are maybe importing one upate you have a Honda Fit RS so the next car on my list would be a Subaru to be precise the Subaru Legacy in Japanese they call it the Ragashi <laughs> even though in a sound mnikam to meangusha Ragashi yani Ragashi yako wewe So it's been in production since 1989 uh, and it's unique in its in its in its category because of the all wheel drive platform 
yeah they basically come in wagon configuration and uh, you know ku, ku pay for those i believe and uh, in 1996 it was revised and called the Subaru Legacy Outback and uh, you know since then Saim FK the seventh generation and uh, and uh, a lot of people if I talk about like Kenya in the se a lot of people on me on me find a lot on this platform uh, Kwanza the wagon uh, if I ever get one the first person to call me K Chris because I remember I remember back back when I was a bit younger squana kabnyuele uku didn't have a beard uh, I remember watching Kankris and thinking like wow 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 I you know I watched this video manje and if you ever see this mini for welcome kubwa sana I watched you kwanza kitambo yeah uh yeah so the legacy you know do our tuners wanna find a lot Kenya because you know the other platform is mekwa is mekwa hapa for for some time now. Even the old ones, what about when as when as it tune? Even when as the new ones, the new ones ni mwana somebody ame. People like lowering them, you know, putting nice tires on them. And uh, basically, the wagon, it's a wagon, and uh, you can you can track this wagon. Trust me, I've seen people do it. Uh, whether it's overseas or moku Kenya, good platform, good tuning, parts ziko platform yenye ka ka ni engine engine obviously ni the you know kuna zenye ni turbo charge na zenye si turbo charge so options iko whether you enjoy you consider and you need a swap if you have the ene you have you need a swap to a turbo engine yeah so the subaru legacy the eighth count my list would be another subaru uh the subaru n10 uh commonly known as the blowby Blobby, yeah, the Blobby. Uh, it's, it's a car produced by by Subaru, Kwanzaa 2004 to 2005, a, a small amount of time, but many were produced. Uh, in this pla in, in this platform, ni yes, uh, like uh, not nyingi, see nyingi zenye zko Kenya ni STI. We have the baseline models, but uh, zote zina zina of a good a good platform to start out with. You know, Kwanzaa when modding. But they are being phased out because new Subarus are coming and people want those. So these old ones are coming, you know, kind of cheap. Basically, young guys like Mimi, uh, like Mimi, they can, you know, uh, they can reach out to Aki or Eneza pull some a lot of strings now by Moza. And uh, this is a car, you know, it's a car, you know, it's a driver's car. This is definitely a driver's car. Kwanza kauta isumbua sana. Na jo, yuki isumbua sana, yi gari itakusumbua. It was Sumbua back. <laughs> and uh, yeah, um, I believe Kenyan tuners are really settled on this platform because Babu Imekua around for some time. Because they are too old. Imekua around for some time. And uh, people have really known how to tweak it to you know achieve maximum even without a lot of performance parts. So I believe like ooh, if you ever purchased one for the track or for the, you can also use it for the daily. Kwanza the wagon, the wagon, the wagon, the, the wagon, the wagon I'm a hatchback. Yeah, I think it's a hatchback. Kasi ya kwa siya. Niambi hapa kwa comment section. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's really unanimous around Kenyans. Na kum, I think kuna mwaza ili, kwanza masinga titi. There was a time kuna mwaza ili sumbua. You guys know the ones, uh, the one I'm, nini, I'm talking about. Kuna mwaza ili sumbua some GTRs. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, the Subaru N10 a really really nice car, and uh, yeah, track daily. So, yeah, can, I cannot say a lot about this car. So the next car on my list would be yet another Subaru, but not the you know not the same platform like the other one. Uh the Subaru Forester. Uh, basically, niki jenga list ni console mtu na nili consult mtu na karibu tu pigane juu the amount of Subarus ni make on this list. So, uh, but it came to, you know, it came to power because Babu, to, to likuja kwa agree because Babu, you know, uh, in Kenya, a lot of Subarus have been important, eh, imported kwanza kitambo. So, uh, it makes sense, it makes sense, that, uh, it makes sense that so many people um, may adopt, um, may adopt the platform, whether wagon, whether SUV or anything. So, back to the Forester. Uh, the, so, the Forester is a crossover sports utility vehicle suv <laughs> that has been with us since 1997 you know it shares the platform with the impreza impreza you know and is currently on the fifth generation basically all-wheel drive 
all wheel drive platform the ej the ej20 or the ej the ej20 uh, it comes on this platform on the with a with a any any platform naturally aspirated or a turbo or or a turbo ej uh zote zote ni poor zote zitakupatia inujua the what you've paid for mnanipata na ataka ni ene kuna the ene one unaweza tune to some to some extent or you can just uh, find an STI swap you just take some STI parts and bolt onto your AN. I've seen people do it and uh, you might not even know the difference even though it's expensive kiasi so yeah, the, 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 pl the platform is synonymous around Kenyan tuners najua kuna watu wana push some really high numbers on this platform yeah. and uh, and you know yeah, as I said, we are in a share a platform with the Impreza. So, if any parts any parts come comes out that is compatible with the you know the EJ in India, kwa Impreza P8 India, yeah. So yeah, let's just say a bit of about this car, but let's just talky. Hello. So I know you guys really know. So the tenth car on my list, the best. <laughs> <laughs> Those are my opinions. Uh, it's the Mitsubishi and it's the Mitsubishi Evo 10. Basically, this is the Mitsubishi Evo 10. It's the tenth generation of the of the of the Lancer, Lancer X, Lancer 10. Yeah, uh, it's a sport sedan, five door, five door, uh, made by the manufacturer uh, Mitsubishi. Uh, you know, um, it it spots the uh, an all-wheel drive platform. Though it's it's not in you know, it was a, it's, I could see the same engine like the previous Evos. Uh, the previous Evos had the 4G63 Kidani, and he uh, could have a 4B11, uh, which I believe was a step up because you know, I mean, if I when I look at the numbers, I believe that the 4G will come to some extent, will come to to its capabilities. So they moved to the 4B, you know, to improve as in the capabilities and you know the output and stuff. Just a newer platform, a better platform with you know better stuff. So the 4B11, 4B11T petrol, obviously, in it was a turbocharged engine, intercooled. Uh, you know, it came with a five-speed manual. Uh, it also came with a six-speed DCT, DCT dual clutch transmission, dual clutch with flappy paddles. <laughs> yeah, the power output in a range kutoka 276 all the way to 440. So uh, probably difference in the model that they came with. Uh, uh, with a car that is in Ojua, a little, uh, I think, out of production. I believe they are kind of really expensive, as in Leona Juzi. So, uh, a post saying that one, you know, one a really good one in a tokapo 2.5 all the way to 3.5. So, you know, a little bit expensive, but considering what you're paying, can you not pay and what you are getting? Me, I, be, I always believe that evils uh, they tend to you know, to over offer <laughs> because you know, the numbers I was just while researching this, I was looking at the numbers that are uh, what what are. Uh, baseline Evo offers and what are baseline Subaru offers and Zaki Tambo obviously that time um, obviously squeeze the Subarus are you know on the forefront so they they are still being developed yeah and uh, yeah I believe they are a big bang for your buck I believe that's the phrase yeah so for a car that is it is a little bit pricey if you're a young enthusiast juke unaitaji pesa kununua igari but in Gari, the tuning is you know you are squeezy kuna macob tunes the access port stuff which in a in a enable you just a little bit you know you are just some boundaries kiasi not like on, on stock stuff stock stuff yeah uh and uh, with with the tuning part you know, kifanya some exhaust some down down pipe and stuff this car can you know in a fungu kaga you know kaga but the platform, the 4B, see, you don't have to struggle that much. But if you want bigger numbers, bigger, bigger numbers, you really have to endure. Fungo Anisha that car 4B. So, yeah, it's it's really uh, synonymous around tuners all over the world, including Kenya. People really love them, even though they are pricey, but what one is in Mua. And these cars are so so pricey because of the sometimes back, I think, like some few months ago, Leona Ingine, a crashed one, a fully crashed one. 
ino za almost half a million unashindwa kwani <laughs> gari merol lakini bado inauzwa half a million the one on the demand for this car the demand for this car is really really high and uh vile na ngevi obviously mnajamini hivyo fans unataka moja hata ka ni crash nitajenga and take a body kit ni feature the scars <laughs> yeah so um a really nice platform uh if you have the money if you no man ni meka huko mwisho kidogo kwa sababu ina speak kwa somebody who has a little bit catching huko eh a little bit catching unaweza kuna mtu akona and somebody who's yeah so this is naonge for somebody who's really well off so with that comes the end of the video na journey a little bit long but uh this videos tend to be a little bit longer kwa sababu i am not that that type of creator mwenye ataka tu picha hapo alafu niwaambie hey these are the numbers hey these are the numbers I like talking unaelewa you know, talking to you guys at least hata muone pia mimi siko perfect najaribu ku you know try to it's a new thing this youtube thing so na, bado najaribu ku learn from it and uh, it's good nyimu one my journey my siku moja nitakuwa na speech to up even without a script <laughs> yeah so thank you for watching this video if you're a new subscriber here as always consider subscribing i make videos every day for the month of july except for sundays because sunday is a break day yeah so yeah so consider subscribing to go karibu to reach our goals of which of 1000 subscribers tell a friend tell a friend and uh, see you on the next one which will be tomorrow